Have you ever found yourself really wanting something in your life and you just can't figure out why you can't get it? Like health and vitality, more energy, loving relationship, uh, you want your dream job, you know, amazing opportunities, more abundance, whatever it is. And you just can't figure out why it's not happening. And you're like, I've got the desire, I've got the vision, you know, I feel it. And it doesn't matter what I do. It feels like I'm grasping at it. I'm trying to get it. It's not flow. It's not happening. And then you find yourself saying things like, I just don't know why, right? And any personal growth material you touch gives you suggestions and pointers and you're like, I just can't see it. I just can't see it. I don't understand. And what I've noticed is really interesting and this happened to me and I see it as a professional coach quite often is that people will say, I just don't know why. This is the challenge I'm having or this is the goal I want to achieve, the thing I want to get in my life. And I just have no idea why I can't get there. But then if you prompt with more and more and more questions, eventually, and not that far below the surface, will come an insight that sounds something like this. Well, if I'm honest with myself, probably I wonder if possibly it might have something to do with, and then following that will be some powerful, deep truth about how they feel about themselves or how they are perceiving themselves in life that is a big root cause block that's getting in the way of what they want. So we can end up fooling ourselves into saying, I don't know why I'm not getting what I want. I don't know what's going on that would have me not having the health and vitality, not having the loving relationship, not having the career opportunities or not having the business growth or not having more flow of monetary abundance or not having more joy and excitement in my life or whatever it is. And we fool ourselves because what's happening is somewhere in our psyche and not that far below the surface is the truth that we don't want to see. And have you ever heard the saying, the truth will set you free? But have you also heard the saying, you see what you want to see? And here is what's been fascinating for me on my journey, and I'm offering it here in this episode today for you, is this. If you are not willing to see the cold, hard truth about yourself and your life and how you are being and interacting with your life and what's really going on inside of you, if you are not willing to see the truth, then the truth cannot set you free because you're not willing to see it. And in the interim, you're busy seeing what you want to see, which is sometimes we blind ourselves, we fool ourselves, and we do it for a very good reason. We do it for self-protection because we're trying to stay away from something that feels too hard, too big, too difficult. But here is the crux of what I want to share with you today. If you want to get what you want, you have to take the courageous path. And the most courageous path in life is to be willing to see the truth, not to live in self-foolery <laughs> or a made-up idea of something without looking at the cold, hard facts of what's going on. And side note, that doesn't mean you can't have a big, beautiful vision that you're manifesting out of nothing into something an incredible, beautiful way of utilizing your energy to bring forth things that don't exist into reality. That's all part of it. But if you're trying to do that from a position of living in the shadows of yourself and the way you're interacting with your life, and you're trying to use your shadows and drag them with you, then it feels like hard work and you don't end up getting what you want. You end up getting patterns, looping, problems, contraction inside of yourself, tussling with your mind, tussling with life, and nothing feels good and like flow. So I'm going to help you in this episode to see the truth that will set you free so that you're not seeing what you want to see, you're willing to see what your soul wants you to see so you can be free. Yeah. 
You're listening to Practical Spirituality with B, the podcast with spiritual advice for your everyday life, helping you align with your soul so you can live with purpose, fulfillment and magic. I'm Bernadette Logue, you can call me B, and I'm excited to share this episode with you. Okay, my lovely, beautiful soul friend, wherever you're tuning in from in the world, this is a going to be quite a short, quick episode for you, and I am calling you forth and inviting you into something called radical self-honesty. Now, I'm going to preempt this by saying this. It is not comfortable to see the cold, hard truth about yourself. I know, because I've had to look at the cold, hard truth about myself and my ego and my mind and my pain and my shame and my embarrassment and the way I've fooled myself on my journey by avoiding things that were too difficult, the way I've made mistakes and treaded water when I could have been moving forward because I was not willing to see the truth, the cold hard truth, about how I was getting in my own way. Okay, and I see this for people all the time that I work with in my one-on-one coaching and in my programs. And what I'm really good at is helping people to see the truth that that they can't see because their ego is hiding it from them for self-protection or their subconscious is hiding it from them and to help them see it so they can set themselves free. And it's not a long process, by the way. I've seen people pivot in one hour to a whole new radical level of self-responsibility and self-honesty that, while a little uncomfortable to initially acknowledge it, literally liberates you, okay? So I want you to consider, regarding what it is that you really want in your life, start asking yourself questions like this. If I really want to get this beautiful relationship, this more healthy body, this more career opportunity, whatever it is, and you long for that in your heart, that's a soulful yearning, it is designed for you to expand into that. So then if it's a yearning for you to expand into and have, what is holding you back from that, right? What am I currently blind to, not willing to see, that could be getting in my own way, okay? If you try to move forward in your life in any area with inaccurate information, It will skew your life path. If you try to move forward without information and you're operating in a vacuum without self-understanding, life-understanding facts, details, then you're navigating blind, right? And so you've got your intuitive intelligence, your spiritual intelligence, your heart intelligence, your intellectual intelligence, your past, your present, data, experts, lots of information you can draw on. And most importantly, you want to be willing to look at who you are being in the world and the way you are interacting with yourself, your goals, and life. Because if you're not getting what you want, or you're at least not getting incremental small step progress toward it, the likelihood is you're getting in your own way. And a willingness to look at the glaring truth about yourself with radical honesty will set you free. Okay, we want to be not lying to ourselves, not hiding from the truth, being courageous to admit what's really going on with how we feel, letting our feelings come up and out, with how we are getting in our own way and holding back from the things that we want. For example, I say I want this thing, but actually, underneath, I don't know if I deserve it. Or actually, if I'm being honest and I'm not hiding from the truth, I don't know if I can handle what it is I say I want. Am I going to be capable of handling it? Is it going to be safe for me? Am I actually afraid of success? Am I afraid of failing? You want to acknowledge what you want, but you also want to acknowledge where you might be having contraction away from it. Like the thought of getting what you want makes you contract. You feel it in your body like a closing down or you're pushing it away. And if you ever notice yourself saying, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what's going on, I'll tell you right now, you do know, but it may not be at the conscious level of your awareness just yet. But if you open your heart and say, I am truly willing to see the truth of how I might be getting in my way and see the truth of my behavior and my patterning, see the truth of 
whether I'm carrying around a paradigm that is just sucky and like a lead weight and is chaining me down, if you say I'm willing and you open your heart and you calm yourself so you feel safe, your spirit, soul, intuitive self will show you. It will rise to the surface if you're patient, okay? So the question is, what am I not seeing about myself or my situation? What is the truth that will set me free? Because by the way, spirit, your spirit guides, unseen team, helping hands, angels, whatever you have in the unseen that you have a relationship with, at the very least your soul can reach you in the most magical ways if you say you want to see the truth. Okay, I had the most spooky, otherworldly, amazing, incredible, mind-blowing thing happen the, the other day, and I'm not going to share it in this episode, but I might share it in a future episode, where literally spirit physically moved physical matter, like in my home, around me, to send me a message to help me see the truth that I was not seeing. Like reached through the veil and physically affected actual physical matter which just blows my mind and reminds me all the time that this 3D reality is 100% not the only thing going on here. Now, your soul and the unseen can do that for you as well or send you the messages in whatever way they need to come, whether it's just an intuitive nudge or an idea that floats into your mind that helps you see your truth. But it will come to you if you are willing, which reminds me there's a saying in A Course in Miracles which says something to the effect of, Truth will come where it is welcomed without fear. And here's why truth doesn't come for most people, because most people don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to hear, you know, this is what I need to do to get out of my way. I am the block. I am the reason I am not getting what I want. Or I have to clean up this area of my life in order to move into what I want. I have to let go of certain things in order to move forward into a new season of my life or I have to face this shadow, or I have to face this icky feeling I've been carrying my whole life inside of me, or I have to say goodbye to a certain season or situation or place or person in my life. And so because it's uncomfortable and we gravitate towards safety and comfort as human beings, and it's uncomfortable to see the truth, then we don't welcome it. But again, as A Course in Miracles says, truth will come where it is welcomed without fear. And so when you truly open up and it can come through in the most magical of ways, if you are willing to face that inside of yourself, it will be absolutely and utterly game-changing for your life. It was absolutely game-changing for me. And you know what's funny is that, what's well, not funny, it kind of is in retrospect, but it's not at the time, <laughs> is like there were people around me were like really aware when I finally saw some truths about myself that they were like, oh yeah, like that's really clear. For them it was really clear, but for me it wasn't because I was living in the weeds of it and I wasn't willing to see the things that I needed to shift, that I needed to let go of. You know, it's like that old analogy about being a tree and at the end of the season, the tree's leaves start to turn and they die, and the tree is meant to let go of them, right? You have the fall or autumn season, and you drop your leaves. Why do you drop your leaves as a tree? So that you make space for the coming season of new growth, and you evolve into a new summer season. And we're like that. We're carrying around dead leaves, and we need to let them go. And you will not even know what your dead leaves are, being the truth that needs to be let go of, if you're not willing so if you want to get what you want in life, my invitation to you is this. Be courageous. Take the courageous path and say, the truth will set me free and I am willing to see the truth that I need to see, not just what I want to see or prefer to see, in order for me to drop whatever isn't working and evolve like a beautiful being into a new season of my life. If you need help with this, you can reach out to me. I have one space left for the November private one-month coaching with me where I will work one-on-one -on -one with you, okay? I'm taking a group of people and I've got one space left. I will privately, intensively work with you for the month of November for a four-week period to support you with all of this and much more. If you want information about that, you can email to support at bernadettelobe.com, support at bernadettelobe.com. Put in the subject line, courage. C-O-U-R-A-G-E, courage in the subject line, 
and I will send you all the information about that private coaching package. Otherwise, head over to www.bernadettelogue.com for more information about how I can support you. It's been a pleasure to be here with you, rattling the cages of seeing the truth. I send big love to you wherever you are in the world, and I look forward to being again with you really soon. Thanks for listening to Practical Spirituality with B. I'll talk to you next episode for more spiritual advice for your everyday life, helping you align with your soul so you can live with purpose, fulfillment and magic. <laughs>